everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Natasha and I am on a health happiness quest in 2023. I have decided to start a new kind of mini series on this channel. Um, I don't know how many episodes it'll end up being, but essentially looking at ways that either you can earn money or save money by being on a health journey. Uh, so given the state of the economy and inflation, as well as what I would say are some misconceptions that, you know, being healthy, you have to eat all of these really expensive foods and things like that. And it's just really expensive to try to lose weight and be healthy or all the supplements. I wanted to kind of go through ways that being on a health journey can save you money. Um, being on a health journey, you could potentially make money from a couple of different options. Not much, but something. Everything helps out. So I wanted to go through some of those. The first is you don't have to be on all the supplements. You don't have to buy the very fancy prepackaged food options and things like that. Can you? Yes, it's not necessary, necessarily necessary though. So those are usually a lot more expensive. If you buy and make your own food, that is one way to help save money as well as be healthier. So let's get into some of those other things. So the first way that you can save money while on a health journey and or weight loss journey is by not wasting food and meal planning. So meal planning is not one of my favorite things, um, but when doing so, you can help to reduce your food waste, which I love because it's environmentally friendly, but also by not wasting that food, you're not wasting money. So it's a multi-purpose factor. You're not just saving money, you're also saving the environment. So good chance. The second thing is sometimes, depending on the style of diet you're doing, you are not eating as much food, which saves money. This is not always true, depending on what phase of your health journey you're at. Sometimes you might be bulking up, so you might be buying more expensive, you know, proteins and things like that, or just more food. You're doing the a bulkier version, but it's a thing to consider. Another thing that might be saving you money while you're on your health journey is you might be reducing the amount of times that you eat out. Most of the time, if you are cooking food at home or preparing food with your meal plans, you will be saving money that way. Um, instead of buying expensive either to-go foods or fast food or just restaurant food, it's usually a lot cheaper to be making it yourself. Another way that you might be saving money, or a way that you could save money while in your health journey is by freezing any produce and such that is about to go bad before it actually goes bad. You can either then save it to make food from, from frozen. Um, I like to do any fruits or things like that. Freeze those before I let them go bad and turn them into smoothies. Same thing with like kale or spinach, I'll freeze that so that I have that to add into smoothies. You can do the same sort of thing like with bell peppers and stuff like that, not smoothies, I wouldn't recommend smoothies, but who knows, maybe. But you can use it in other ways and just make sure that you're saving your produce that way. Again, trying to find ways to save the environment, save money, reduce food waste. It's all kind of a combo package. So besides the, you know, just not eating as much, making food yourself and not wasting it, or not eating out as much. There's other ways to help save yourself some money. Um, most of these are gonna be like coupon-esque apps um, and tips, but um, feel free to take a look and see what might help you. Um, so one that is not necessarily a coupon tip, but you might be able to stack it with coupons, is if you're trying to buy like any sort of pre-prepared food or things like that, or fruits and vegetables, um, try to find things that are on sale. Is this kind of obvious? Yes. Or clearance. Clearance also is. So this one's like a clearance smoothie. Um, this is not necessarily the healthiest because it's got a bunch of sugars, but if this is sort of a thing that you're trying to purchase um, or other pre-prepared things or snacks um, or just things like that, check out the clearance section. You'd be surprised at how many good deals you can find. Um, personally, Kroger is where I find the best like clearance deals. Um, I've managed to get some like grass-fed beef um, that was just a day or two before expire, or not expiring, but the, the best sell by date that they had um, for less than it would cost normal beef. I found some really good um, proteins and stuff at Aldi that again, 
same sort of thing, um, but you can find a lot of things on clearance. And depending on if it usually has to be a name brand, um, you might be able to stack that with some of these coupon apps I'm gonna talk about here. Or just point earning apps, they're not necessarily coupons, but anyway, let's get to the coupons. So I've tried out many a coupon app or coupon before. Um, I have been in not some, some great financial situations and so it's very useful to help save money. It's useful to help save money even if you are in a good financial situation. Um, so here are some of those apps. The first app I'm gonna talk about is Ibotta. Um, it is a coupon app that um, you kind of essentially pre-select um, items that you might be buying. Sometimes they have completely free things. I've done some different videos on those before. Um, usually the free things are things that are being newly released. Um, and so people are trying to get you to try them and like them and want to buy them in the future. Um, but you can get some fully free food that way. It is essentially a rebate app. So instead of like you getting a discount when you purchase it, you do have to purchase it up front. Um, but then you get the money back in either PayPal, gift cards, etc. kind of any of those options. Uh, they have changed it. You used to be able to stack deals on Ibotta with other things um, to essentially build up either better deals. Now that is not allowed. Theoretically, you could still do that, but that would be illegal, so don't do that. Um, another app that I've heard other people on here talk about is Fetch Rewards. This one I would say is one of the easiest ones. You do not have to pre-select any deals or items that you're buying. You just scan your receipt and you earn points. Um, if you buy specific things that have bonus deals, you get extra points um, compared to like, I think it's like usually 20 to 25 points per receipt, but you can earn quite a bit more if you are purchasing things that are on their list. Again, usually it's some various name brand things um, and packaged things. Usually there's not that many deals on like fresh fruits or vegetables. Uh, Ibotta sometimes will have things for non-branded items, such as like you get points off of, you know, any milk or apples or things like that, um, or lettuce, uh, but Fet and Fetch Rewards doesn't really do that as much, but you can still get points no matter what you buy. Um, Receipt Hog is another one that I have tried before. Um, it's a little slow going in terms of point earners. I think Fetch and Ibotta, you can earn a lot more, a lot quicker, um, but you can earn some points, um, which turn into gift cards. Um, Shopkick is another one. Um, this one, actually, you can scan items while in the store to earn points without having to purchase anything. Um, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. You find the item and you scan it. Does it take time? Yes, but you can earn points that way. Um, you can also earn points from purchasing items and it saves money that way. I think they also have the online option similar to the other things like My Points, Rakuten, so many of those other ones where it's like if you start there, you earn points. Honey, I think is one of them. It's, it's, you can also do that. Um, same thing with Ibotta. Ibotta also has like online purchasing where you earn points if you purchase via starting off on Ibotta. Um, one thing that we all want to save a bunch of money on is gas. It was very expensive. Thankfully, it's coming down a smidge bit. Um, but Get Upside is a really good one for that. It, uh, you claim essentially a reward um, for different gas stations. You purchase gas within a specific time period after you've claimed it, and you get money back. Um, sometimes up to 10 cents per gallon. And it's a really good deal. You can kind of sometimes combine that by scanning your receipts, I believe, with Fetch. Um, and then usually it's just to get another 25 points on Fetch. But ways to save some money on gas. Um, coupons.com is another one. Um, it's essentially just like if you went to coupons.com and printed off coupons, you could also do it digitally. And so instead of having to spend money printing things to then save money, which doesn't always equal out, there's an app so you can just, uh, again, select, scan your receipt and get money back that way. Uh, coupons.com, I you might be able to do it with gift cards, but I have it set up so it just sends the money back to my PayPal. So it's very quick um, in terms of getting your rebates on that. Another option um, is my points. So this is one that I use to kind of sometimes purchase non-perishable items uh, online and save and earn points that way. So if I have a bunch of things I need to purchase, 
I can purchase it either for pickup or delivery, you can do that and then you earn extra money back on it or save money on it. Um, usually you cannot stack this with anything like Ibotta or things like that. So if it's something that you have a really good deal on those other ways, you're not gonna be able to save money. Um, My Points has recently added a thing for in-store purchases. So they have similar to Ibotta or things like that. You can select different things that you have bought, um, scanning your receipt and you get points. They do have options frequently of a couple of points for like various fruits and vegetables or milk or cheese or things like that or yogurt, like non-branded things. Uh, those, again, you're earning like half of pennies for those sorts of items, uh, but you can earn a lot more on like laundry detergent name brand items of various things. Um, so those are some ways to potentially save you some money. Uh, all of those pretty much that I've mentioned, um, you can use a referral link that I'll have linked down below in order to save, earn yourself some extra points. Um, it does not cost anything. I sometimes will get a little bit of a benefit if you do that, um, of giving myself some extra points if you would like to sign up, if you haven't signed up before. No pressure, do we wanna do, if couponing in apps like that is not your jam, don't deal with it. It's understandable, um, but those are some ways. You can earn some extra money. I might have some other apps that I haven't thought of that I've tried and don't like that I'll kind of show here. Um, and I don't like them because they either did not really earn much money, if at all, or that's mostly it, or the rebate process was not smooth. Um, but so, here's some of those ones. So those are some ways that being on a health journey, um, you can either save money from just being on the journey, from like, you know, not eating out as much, or ways you can save money on groceries, which we all want to do. We also all want to, you know, make sure we're eating whatever food we do purchase to try to reduce food waste. Saves us money, helps save the planet. So I'm always all about that. Let me know if you have tried any of these various things before. If you have other tips or tricks, let me know. I'm always about trying to <laughs> save myself some extra money. If you're okay, I can maybe share them in one of my next series. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.